even though they are nerfed or anything else. Like Especially you, in like the first month of the game. Yeah. It's, a nerf does not cause the character to be unplayable in the eyes of so many. You know, another player can pick it up and didn't do other things with that character. Yeah, but like, shout outs to Luigi. Everyone thought he was going to be bad because of his tether grab, but here we are. Yeah, here we are, man. Of course, I like it. No stranger to top top level play here, especially with Luigi here. And he's starting off with Fallen. Fallen going to be rocking. Of course, as you see here, the Inkling. Yeah, we're, we're going to be seeing the Inkling here. Uh, courtesy of, uh, apparently, SD God got him to start playing Inkling. So that, that was a good choice uh, of character. Has a lot of good projectiles to uh, to wall out Elegant, and quite quite a bit of uh, mobility just to uh, keep the stage control. Yeah, definitely. All right, he's able to come back in with that tornado. That tornado is getting higher and higher every time I'm seeing it in the tournament. Elegant's getting that mash a little bit better. Yeah. I want to know what kind of mash he's been doing for for that tornado, but so far Fallen looking to find his way into Elegant's range. Just trying to get something started. There's an edge guard opportunity here for Elegant. He winds the Elvis Smash for Fallen, able to escape it. And I like the fact that they took the time to get away a little bit longer because he knows Elegant's looking for a grab at this situation. Yeah, especially since uh, 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 Luigi's grabs uh, dead down throw still leads into uh, quite a bit of follow-ups. Yeah. At, possibly at Hypersense. I, I don't know for sure uh, myself. And Alex has been doing really well at keeping Fallen at the ledge over here. Using almost everything that he has in his arsenal to fall out Fallen. Oh, there's a confirm the from the roller and the up smash. Fallen with a great pay. I want to say it took a lot of page from him too because he knows that he was mixing up his timing on recovery on the stage because you know Elegant's looking for a grab. Yeah. He's looking for a kill at that situation. Yeah, and again, as you said, that, that patience really paid off in the end because he knew that Elegant was going to start going on hitboxes just to keep him uh, away, to keep him walled out. And Try to get that stock. So Fallen just waited it out and got, just got the stock from uh, from rolling him. That's back there in, in the center stage, catching Fallen, jumping out of shield. A lot of people like to jump out of shield because it is one of the quickest options you can do. Comes out of frame three, mm -hmm. frame three jump squats. And uh, honestly, it's like the go-to panic option in this game now. Okay, I like this patience we're seeing from Fallen. Fallen, not, you know, honestly, we know he's keen to play the patient game when he needs to. That comes from meaning Rosalina and Luma in the last game. So Fallen's not afraid to play just a little bit patiently and wait to see what his opponent's going to do. And honestly, it allows Fallen to start reading Elegant. He knows what Elegant's game plan is, so Fallen has to find a counter to it. And he's using a lot of what Inkling can do with the movement. Yeah, especially with, with Inkling's movement when she's dashing around uh, on her initial dash. She actually kind of low profiles quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. But so far, that's what happens when you give Inkling, um, I'm sorry, when you give Luigi a huge inch, he takes a mile, and he has fallen at a pretty high percent, just like he had the first stock, but I do like that Fallen's kind of trying to keep himself well-spaced. He's going for these back airs at the ledge. He's just trying to keep himself a little bit more aware of how, there you go, there's a grab for Elegant. Oh, tries to get the Cyclone after the down throw, but follows up with a Nair instead as Fallen uh, lands with an air dodge. That was very good coverage from Elegant there, covering the DI in with a Tornado, then falling on top of him with an air to cover the, the air dodge to the floor. Yeah. Elegant's uh, doing pretty well at covering options there, just like that back air, using a raw back air just to cover Fallen running in and trying to get back to center stage. All right, except for the slap, slap on there, not going to be able to do much, but he waits on trying to get that back air because he does not want to challenge that. Oh, uh, then that's right. Uh, green Missile does not uh, drift as far as it used to in Smash 4. Kind of just stops after yeah. Green Missile is over. So that was a really good awareness from Fallen. Just waiting until Elegant burned his double jump to force him to do the horizontal recovery. All right, there's a down air. Elegant tries to get something off from that down air. Good confirm there. Comes back down with the tornado. That's what I kind of see that Fallen's respecting, right? The tornado. He doesn't want to get hit by that at all, at all, because he knows that's a pretty painful move to get take damage from. But Elegant quickly turns things around against Fallen. I like what Fallen's doing uh, with the roller when he lands. Uh, so, uh, Sometimes I feel like Elegant will pick up on it, but when he's landing with roller, oh, that tornado not going to kill just yet. A little bit too high. But um, yeah, when Fallen's landing with Roller, he actually uh, paints some of the ground first as he's running on the floor, just in case Elegant uh, falls back down and tries to punish him and try to clank with Roller. So he could get a possible bury. And then when he's, he doesn't get the bury, he just straight up jumps out of the way yeah. when Elegant tries to punish him on the win. Oh, there's oh a confirm God. for Fallen. Up smash, that won't take it just yet, but Fallen with a little sigh of relief and some stage control in hand. 
Elegant back on the prowl just to try to get something. I like that he leads in with the spot bomb there. Just trying to cover his tracks. It's a pretty situation there. Oh, and he gets a tornado. God. Elegant holding it through. You can see the flex there at the end. Yeah, Luigi very relieved. Stretching out his arms. Doing, uh, doing the old uh, slap with the, with the knuckles right there. <laughs> I, I, I still don't know why like that's so powerful, but it is. Am I good? <laughs> yeah, we good. All right, next game, Elegant able to walk away with victory in hand, but Fallen was not too far behind. He had the confirms there with the roller, but he also had the play in mind too. He knows, you know what? If I have to go the distance in this fight, I will go the distance. I will go the time. I have eight minutes to work with. I have the movement to move around with. I have the tools that I need to go ahead and fight Luigi, but let's go ahead and see how what game two will bring about for Fallen. Yeah, again, we're seeing the low profile initial dash come into play. He actually low profiled right under the, the Poltergust right there and was able to get a punish onto Elegant. But Elegant's holding ledge uh, really well. I mean, and when he when Fallen jumps above him, he's just catching him with, uh, with like, fair or bear. I mean, you even saw earlier, right? Elegant has him at the ledge, man. He's spamming every opportunity to stop Fallen from getting back up. Yeah, and right there, very good. Spot dodge just getting right under the Poltergust once more and just rolls out of that situation, not wanting to challenge uh, Elegant in the close quarters combat because uh, if Elegant gets something, it could lead into death. Reverse Ooh. up air into back air, a smash four favorite from Elegant. Oh, good recovery. He even hits him with the back air and takes the time to try to go for another edge guard. Fallen gonna make this play work in his favor and he goes for another opportunity. Elegant unable wow. to survive. Fallen making that. the... Literally risking it for the biscuit at that situation there, but that up smash will be the equalizer here. 2-2 two, two for stock count. Yeah, Elegant reminding him that was his stock. Give it back. And yeah, uh, Fallen actually used that uh, that wall bounce to his yeah. advantage, just going straight back into Elegant to back air him. That was really nice. Fallen pretty familiar to how to use disadvantage tools. All right, sets up the splat bomb. That's what kind of Fallen is kind of playing. He's kind of playing around Elegant, right? He's going in for little pokes. As, soon, as much as he can, and not really overcommitting, and that's how you kind of want to play against Luigi. Or in this case, that's how Fallen wants to play around Elegant, right? Going for yeah. these pokes, we see him going for these back airs, we see him going for the splat bombs and trying to cover up something. Yeah, and right there, we saw Elegant trying to cover, um, holding the ledge with double down tilt, then he goes into the jump nair or jump dare just to cover the jump option or normal getup, and it's uh. been working! Every yeah. time he's got Fallen on the ledge, that's been happening to Fallen. And Elegant's been picking up on it. He's using the same thing over and over again. He's like, Fallen's not really adjusting to this. So if it's if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, and you can tell, dude, man. Elegant, the minute he has him at the ledge, he's spamming down and he's going for down. So he's going for any opportunity to two-frame Fallen. But Fallen able to get back up there with the up B. Might be too much oh, of a no. risk. Tries to get him with a spike there, just falls a little bit too far. Not able to recover with both double jump and uh, and, and splat. Splat down, there we go. Yeah, there was a lot of things that Fallen's doing right in the game, right? He's able to kind of poke around him, find movement around Elegant to able to get the little victories there and then turn that victory into a full, complete stock. But unfortunately, Elegant's not gonna let Fallen have a breather at all. I kind of want to say Fallen's game plan isn't really crumbling, but it's also still not working to its fullest potential. So we're going to see him go for the character change into Robin. Ooh, okay. Uh, th this can work out. Um, Levin Sword is, act is like, while you have to wait for Levin Sword, it is a bigger disjoint than uh, Inkling's uh, gun here. Uh, they went to Omega uh, Pokemon Stadium. I believe it was an accident here. But yeah, uh, Robin has more projectiles to work with, more projectiles to. Uh, not rush down, but to wall out Elegant. Yeah. He wants to play the wall out game with Robin. And if anything, when he has the Levin Sword, we're going to be seeing him try to space out for Tipper Levin Sword. There's like, I don't think there's a hitbox change on the Tipper. Well, I know it's a very powerful move. It's in, it, it's, uh, in yeah. itself. So it's going to cause Elegant to play a little more safely around him. Yeah. Fallen's going to have access to a new set of projectiles here and a new set of tools against Luigi, and of course, Robin did have some changes. One of, some of them being more visual, but of course, that recovery is one of them that quickly to name here. Now he's able to angle the recovery to kind of pick and choose how he wants to angle himself when he makes the recovery here. All right, but so far, Fallen setting himself at the corner and then trying to make a play for the center stage here. Shields himself through those jabs, gets the rapid jab, but Elegant able to get away, sets up the arc fire. I think that's what Fallen wants to do here, is set up opportunities to have Elegant at the corner, have him walled out, and stop him from getting the grabs he's looking for. Yeah, and uh, 
using arc fire is going to be uh, very essential. Also, um, managing his Elwyn uh, because Elwyn actually goes away much easily, uh, much more easily. And right there, we see Close. Elwyn go away, but at the cost of elegant stock. That was very good uh, weave, uh, weaving around from Fallen there, just using the new momentum you got on oh, Elwyn. What a head chase from Elegant! They're gonna capitalize with that. That's a little bit of insult to injury there. I mean, Fallen, each time he gets a stock, Elegant's always there to find the equalizer. I I'm telling you, dude, it, all he needs is that Levin sword. Like, he, he did 66% with just up air. Yeah, gets a down smash. Not gonna be the kill here, but Elegant gets this amazing combo. This might oh, be the confirm there, and he's able to oh. find it! But Fallen still living with a little bit by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, gonna be charging up an L Thunder there just to get back to stage. Charges up another L Thunder, hopefully just push him out. Levin Sword out of commission for another, I believe, 10 seconds here. And he's gonna throw out an Arc Fire, trying to follow up into a Nair. He's not gonna be able to get it. He's gotta react a little bit faster with both with Arc Fire, and I don't think he can follow up uh, uh, after Arc Thunder. But he has Thor on now, and it is a, like a reliable kill mode now. Exactly. So Elegant's gotta watch out. Great combo there, like you said, a little more reliable and using the arc fight just to cover the ground to get Elegant to pop him and fall into the arc thunder. Sorry, Thoron. Yeah, and we're gonna and he doesn't have arc fire book anymore. He's gonna be waiting for a bit before it comes back. He has Love and Sword to make up for what arc fire uh, for what he doesn't have an arc fire. He's just <laughs> and he's <laughs> he's been spacing out with just thunders. And Love and Sword coming it, into play here. This is what this is what Fallen wants. He doesn't want to give Elegant the opportunity to come in with momentum and then take the stock away from him. Fallen wants to survive, but Elegant needs him there at the death throw down there. Yeah, very nice down air, very nice uh, awareness from Elegant, knowing that he was just going to drift back into the ledge there and just use all of his momentum to get that down air in time. He's also he's got to watch out for these L Thunders though. It's been hitting him time and time again, pushing him out just like that. You cannot run up and shield. Shield comes out, I believe, uh, a little bit later, like around frame. That's the gap for Elegant. This could be the confirm. No he's looking way. for. He's able to get the up B and Fallen gonna lose it. Thirty so and, you can. and a handshake. You can see it at that percent, man. The minute Elegant knew I find the grab, I clutch it out, I'm able to change things into my favor, and Fallen did it.